Here's something you probably weren't taught in school. There's several reasons why you would need to know what I'm gonna teach you and you will find that in other videos. So for now, I'm just gonna teach you this little thing. A lot of these consonants, you're actually doing the exact same thing with your mouth, except one has the voice and one is like a whisper. So you got b. See, my mouth is doing the exact same thing. B. On this one, you do the same thing in the back of your throat. K, g. Except this one, you're using your voice. This one's like a whisper. This one, same thing with your tongue and your teeth. D, t, d, t. Whisper, voice. This one, watch this. <laughs> same thing with your, with your mouth. This one, same thing with your mouth. See that? Another example of voice versus no voice. No voice, ch. Voice, j. You're doing the exact same thing. J, ch, j, ch. Same thing. Voice, no voice. One of the most important reasons you want to know this is because it tells you how to pronounce ed at the end of words. For instance, here, you've got puff. Remember, that's like a whisper. Puff. T, and it's a t at the end. And then glove voice. Glove d voice. Gloved. Puffed. But I go into that more in another video. In case you're still confused about voice versus no voice, put your hand on your throat and then make a sound with your voice. Mm, you can feel it. You can feel it vibrating on your hand or the H sound, <sighs> no vibration. So try a few letters like that and you'll see the difference or just start talking and you can feel it. Comment if you learned this at school. Follow for more teaching tips.